just bussin' respectful. <laughs>
I was like, bro, you ready? Let's meet up. And he's like, ghosted you. Ghosted, bro. I was like, fuck <laughs> this guy, bro. I was fucking pissed. It's like, are you kidding me? Make me drive four hours. Yeah. And then I bought another car this morning. And then uh, it turns out that like what I had wanted in it, it didn't have at all. And, and the guy's like, oh, my bad. So he's coming in the morning to fucking take it back. So it's, it's well, bad luck it back. This fucking week, dude. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have a choice, but yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a fucking difficult month with cars, bro. It's like five times now. I've been trying to get something. You think you Ridiculous. can find me an E36 or an E46 for cheap? That's not a total shitbox? No. Damn. <laughs> all all used cars right now, dude, are through the roofs. Ever since the pandemic, true. it's been ridiculous. An E30 a year ago went for like two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars in mint condition. Now, right now, everyone's asking 000. like fifteen to thirty thousand dollars for a mint condition E30. I'm like, what the fuck that, happened? I saw one that sold for two hundred fifty thousand. Maybe an oh. M3, not a not it, a fucking it was an M3 E30. Mm-hmm. I know nothing. Yeah, the M3 is also fucking just out of nowhere blew up in the last like five years it. yeah it's crazy but e46s you can still kind of get them i, I want to get an e46 m3 i've been looking but everybody wants like 15 20 thousand dollars and there's one out here that the guy's trying to sell up for 14 it I mean, looks maybe, like it's on bags but it just, everyone has smg bro i'm looking for a super yeah, clean SMG. stick no fuck the smgs bro that's a do, time do a transmission swap I, like, let me spend fifteen thousand dollars to go put another five grand into it. I might as well just buy a twenty thousand dollars stick shift. Mm. It's in, like clean, low miles. It doesn't make sense. So it's like one of those things. Is like you just gotta find a good, clean, and I want like from factory stick shift. So I don't want no fucking janky ass shoddy work, no garage shit, no. Because these you know these motherfuckers out there like drifting them and doing stupid ass shit, and I'm just like yeah. I don't want to deal with that, especially on a BMW. Yeah. That's it's, where I want to get just a. I want to get just a regular 3 Series, either E36 or an E46. Dude, I a, found a fucking a Z shell for like $4,000. I know the nothing shell. about cars. I'm just smiling. <laughs> no, you, you have a, you have a like, car that you could full on just yeah, deck I out. Got, I got a, a Nissan 350Z, but like on oh, solid shit. stock. Oh, shit. Okay. I've had it for Mr. about not, six Mr. years. Mr. Not a car guy over I'm here. not a car guy. I'm not. Like, dude, I haven't done anything to it. Thing, you could turn that thing into a goddamn show car. I know. Bro, that's, no. that's the plan. Drift that shit, bro. Or a drift car. <laughs> that's the plan. Full blown drift car. Like, I, I want to, like, like, since it's all paid off, and I have, I've had it for six years, and I had zero oh. problems with it for six years. This is an 06, and I got it with 30,000 miles six years ago. Wow. That's a and deal. I, wow. How much you pay for that? Uh, 18. 18. Yeah, after after sense. interest and in taxes and all that? Yeah. 18. Wow. That's and not and that's the thing, Nissan's dude, they don't really have that many issues. Yeah, dude. I have a, the only thing that happened was that the transmission, it was like done, you know, with clutching and everything. The clutch burned out. But I, oh, I, other you didn't than that, drive though. That yeah, in the beginning. <laughs> in the beginning. But other than that, dude, <laughs> zero problems. Dude, I, haven't, that's what's I, up. I haven't had to do anything to it for like about four or five years. And that's the thing too is like I don't want to. I know a guy who's selling one. I, that's the thing too is like I don't want to do anything to it because it runs perfectly fine. So I was like I don't want to like, add anything to it. Like, and this is not like obviously fun advice, but like as far as investment advice goes, if I was you, I would leave it completely bone stock, and just like garage it for the next like twenty years, bro. Garage get it. A, get a get yeah. a new daily. Get a new daily because that shit's gonna become a it's, it's gonna become a classic car. Yeah, uh, because eventually. it's a Z, and it's a Z car. But me, and... but it just sitting there wouldn't like freaking. You I mean, know, you drive, drive all the weekends, pubs, so. you know, yeah. like yeah, we'll drive it on the weekends, like 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 old people do muscle cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sunday, you bring them out, take them to a show. Take well, that's the thing too. I do want to get a new car. I want to get a freaking Grand Cherokee, dude. Which is fire. Hey, huh? There you go. That yeah, I'm looking fire. for I'm looking for an off road um, SUV right now. That's what I'm looking for. So it's yeah, like I already have the I already have the truck. I want a car. Yeah, I mean, I, I have the truck. I want the car. I got an '87 Camry. It's a classic. I don't, I don't need any no. more projects, bro. This thing is just super clean. It's gonna be a gold mine in the future because I mean, it's a Camry, bro. They hold value, you know. It's like the Ferrari of the Japanese world. 
Is, that, is anybody going to ask me what I did the last two weeks? <laughs> what did you do the last two weeks? <laughs> Who did you oh, do? Oh, well, oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Who you for asking. Thank you for asking. Who's better <laughs> you in? <laughs> well, dude, the, um, the first week I was in Cali. That's why we didn't do the podcast. Well, I mean, it wasn't why because I came back Sunday. But I was in Cali. I had a good time. It was it was about time we took that. I took like a break from everything. You know? Mm-hmm. And then... After that, I just decided to take that rest of the week off to kind of just like reset myself. I didn't stream, I didn't go to the gym, I didn't do anything. Like I was just relaxing the entire week. And then yeah, that's me like every day. I'm two days ago. <laughs> yeah. Finish uh, the sleeve, yeah, dude. VR. I finished yeah, the sleeve. Okay. You check it out. Mm, check it. God damn. How much was that? Uh five hundred for seven hours. Oh, that's not bad. That's I not even bad got a little Tamagotchi, dude. I'm proud of it. This fucking guy. What the <laughs> Tell me that doesn't that look clean, hours. though. Wait, let me, let it look good, at the focus. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. Nice. That was good, dude. I like the shading. Nice. You don't have it wrapped? No, why would I have it like, wrapped? It was two days I ago. Well, I mean, mine, yeah. when I got, like, every time that I got mine, she's like, keep it on for three days and or keep, like, that bandage on. Oh, I didn't have a bandage. I just plastic wrap. Yeah, I took oh, it, it just off two hours wrap? later. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, it's funny too because a lot of a lot of artists say different things about that. Like that I've heard, like, derm? It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's better to just like fucking like keep let it, it clean and let it breathe, and then like put Aquaphor on it like every four hours or some shit like yeah, that. And it's like three days. And some people say keep like the wrap on, and I'm just like I, I don't I don't that's to me that sounds kind of gross. Like Having leaving it on for three days, yeah. Like I don't know. I just I mean weird. when I when I had my side done, like it was Saran wrap for the first couple hours, and then and then took it off, and then I had to take it off. And then when I went to work, like the dude just told me like like keep it dry, like keep it clean, keep it dry. And I'm working in 120 degree. I mean that's weird though because so, like, like, you do I would you every, don't after like... every car and like sitting there wiping it down with a towel. You're not and supposed this, to like, keep just wounds keep it on for like 30, super 30. dry though. You're actually supposed to keep it moist. It helps the body heal. Well, like sweating and stuff isn't. Yeah. So it's like if you put like some like Aquaphor on it, and then you could like bandage it up or something, so you're not rubbing against it all day at work. Yeah, I used like, to. Well, th- this, to this was. This yeah. was now. Fourteen years ago. I got. When I got this. Yeah. Yeah, you have to make sure that's clean too. Otherwise, yeah. you're gonna start getting. Fucking. Yeah, and then you can get like ingrowns and shit. That was another issue with like with mine is like when I shave my hair, I have really thick hair. You just so I just boy. started to grow back. Yeah, I, don't, I got like a couple ingrowns and it like kind of fucked shave. the ink in that spot where I got I don't the ingrowns. Shave. Just for that reason. Oh no, I, there's no way someone's tattooing put through all this shit, dude. Well, um, they <laughs> shave it no matter what. Like she still shaves all the way down here, even though she stopped here. Yeah, yeah. No, you but for me, I, have I also to, got I, have I also got a neck tat, dude. No shit. Oh shit! What, did that say something? Oh, I, I can't even that's tell. your the lo- uh, ones you can lie to of your parents. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think you told me about that one. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So dude, I'm a I'm Fucking a I'll gangster. Up, according dude, according to like my parents, I'm a gangster. Yeah, because <laughs> I got the neck that. You're never getting a job, bro. I have a job. <laughs> I have, oh, that's another thing, dude. I got promoted. I'm a manager now. Oh, congrats, bro! Golf. A lot of shit's happened in the last yes, couple of yes. days. In the last couple of dude, days, that's awesome, dude. Good shit. Now you can afford all those tats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Did they give you a pay raise too? Yeah. <laughs> now they're just like, here's more responsibility. Yeah, more responsibility, no pay. <laughs> Fuck no pay. that. It's yeah, like, well, you've been doing it already, so basically, I just give you the a great time, a great time to ask for a promotion because no one's fucking working, dude. Like, their people are so understaffed. So the people who are there right now, it's like, give me a fucking raise or I'm leaving. <laughs> and they'll be like, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well. Yeah, it's fine. Just don't leave. Don't leave me. Please don't leave me. All right. So where are these uh, topics, Mac? <laughs> since we, <laughs> since we've since we gone over what we've been not doing and we, doing. We caught up. I, okay. So since last time we asked, how do you wipe, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah great, great time, great time. <laughs> okay, but all right. So, how do you shower? All right, we're gonna go right into this. We're gonna be like, how do you shower? Do you? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's freaking knuckles leaves. Right? <laughs> Let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, knuckles yeah, leaves. Me a question. Okay. 
Fucking guy. Oh, he didn't leave. Okay, I thought he just left or something. <laughs> he had to wipe up again. I had to turn the fan on. It's getting hot in here. Oh, the question's bro, about to get deep. That's the same yeah, shit for me, bro. I can't deep. even turn my air on because it's like literally right in front of the mic. It just makes a <laughs> sound, and I'm like, fuck, I can't. I'm hot as fuck in here. This one, I have it going towards my back, and you can't hear it. Man. I would have that one on, but it fucking died on me 20 minutes before everyone got on. Mm -mm. Only bitch. bitch. I need to get a silent fan. My stupid right, continue, only continue. fan. Dude, I got I, I got my bed up right now because there's no room if I I can't uh, my chair here. So my girlfriend's oh, laying on hey. the floor. <laughs> Put your fucking bed down. I want to see it. Oh, you want to see that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Let me see the magic. Me We're the magic already going off the rails. I literally yeah. was trying to get us. <laughs> literally was trying to get us to the topics, and you're like, pull the Look bed out. I want to see it. Fancy. Fancy smancy. Shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, though, man. I bet your room feels so much nicer with that shit up, huh? Oh, yeah. You, you it it, it kind of forces VR. me to keep my room clean, too. Exactly. It really does. Like, it declutters everything. I love it. I okay. love it. I need to get one of those. For I just have a bag. whole other room, so it's like great. I mean, fucking must be nice to be rich, bro. Yeah, no, I'm no, not rich. Some of us aren't that Mr. fortunate, Mr. you know. Six bedroom house. <laughs> no, fucking three so different. It's just shitters. a four bedroom, but this this room was just being used for storage, so Shit, we just man. reorganized everything. Bro, I have to sleep on this desk. Like all right, at night I just fucking clear everything off, lay on the desk, and go to sleep. Whoa. <laughs> You carry Whoa. Liar, liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally fucking kidding, dude. I got a nice big ass California king, and it's great. All right, so, all right, so back, 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 back to it, back to it. How do you shower? Yeah, do you do you nothing. like? Do you go for like the shampoo first? Do you wipe your body first? Are you the person? Are, knuckles. Do you, knuckles. Do do you like wipe? Your, do you? First. Okay, no. You know what? I'm gonna ask that question last. All right. Go ahead. Who you, no, you have to say it first. first. You asked it for you asked, so you gotta say. Well, yeah, we'll say Knuckles first, because Knuckles always has some like wild answers. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna be like, I don't believe in showers. <laughs> showers are I literally are for just aliens. showered, thank you very much. Showers are for aliens dick. and Muslims. You see my hair? My hair does not get like this. That looks like shower. fucking grease to me, bro. I don't know. That looks like a couple of weeks worth of fucking grease. That ain't fucking grease, my guy. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> that's just bro. That's just Fucking grease, combing it and just <laughs> letting it dry. Beautiful, love it. Anywho, so ahead. how do you shower? How do you shower? How do you start? I, I mean, naked. Shorts? How do you start? Underwear. Yeah. How do you start? I, I mean, I just chill there for a while, just enjoying the water. What's just a while? Like, you know, thirty like minutes. Decompressing. Forty. I'll I'll go until the water goes cold. Oh, what? Cold? You take yeah. cold showers? No, I'll stay there. Until what about like, everybody it's else? Getting cold. You're not giving anybody else warm water. That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, what if we don't shower prick? at the same time? So it's okay. What everyone should shower together, dude. <laughs> okay, at the same time. Let me just let me go shower with my pops. <laughs> you don't? Is that weird? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not four years old anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys don't shower with your dad? But um, <laughs> <laughs> um. I'd start with shampoo. He's so flustered. You start yeah. with shampoo. Wait, what? Yeah, start with shampoo. Right. And then after mm -hmm. rinsing Where do you every, lather the, the shampoo. shampoo? Huh? Where do you lather the shampoo? My head. That's it? I have no hair, bro. Anywhere? No. Wow. So you are like, like my hair. Old. My Holy hairiest shit. part are like <laughs> elbow down uh, and knee down. You have hair in your knees? <laughs> <laughs> like knee down, like that's my hairiest part. It's like my shins. You have hair on your knees. Oh, bro, he has hair on his knees. Yeah, that's bro. crazy. Let me see your like Wait, on your kneecap. Up. You have hair on your kneecap. Oh, I have yes. hair on my kneecap. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. What the fuck? You guys are weird. You don't have hair on your kneecap. <laughs> no, bro. People You're lying. Have hair on their kneecap. Let me see your kneecap. <laughs> no, we, dude. we already talked about that's who so the hairy weird. one is. It's you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have hair on my kneecap. <laughs> God, God damn. Oh. Um, yeah, you don't see that. Weird, you scared me for a second. <laughs> I was like, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weird. He's like, wait, am I a fucking he just, freak? He, he, am I a mutant? He, show, he shows his knee, 
and he's just fucking Michael Phelps. <laughs> like, just, like just baby. <laughs> just baby <laughs> smooth. Yeah, from the nuts down, dude, I'm Michael Phelps. <laughs> All right. So, Grease. this shampoo. After the shampoo. Okay, continue. And then I put con- uh, conditioner in, and I'll leave that in for, like, a minute or two. That's not long I enough. Do... You're fucking up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> While I do uh, body wash, and then and then I rinse everything out, and then and then I rinse everything out. Okay. And then oh, no. <laughs> you go, okay, I already that's said it. That's it. I put. <laughs> Why? And then. You want me to go into more detail? And then and then and then. And then. And then. <laughs> oh my god, you know, dude! Who knows so- about that? You don't wash your goddamn balls. You weren't listening to me when I said that. Uh, I, I said I leave this then. conditioner in, and then while that's in there, I put mm-hmm. body wash and, you know, rinse my wait, body. Wait, 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 wait. Did you fucking say body wash? Yes, I know. Are you in fucking I high need, school? I need to I get I bet it's Axe, actual, too. Is it so, Axe? It's yeah. Axe body wash, no, isn't it? No, it's not. No. It's Old Spice. God, Dove. You give me a fuck. Old Spice, yeah. No, it's Dove. Okay, at least you're a man of culture. All right, that's fine. Dove, Dove is It's just body wash instead wait. of the bar. Then we're gonna judge each other so hard because okay. I'm yeah, so. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> mine's pretty I'll bad. I'll accept your answer. I feel like mine's pretty bad like, too. I'm, I I want to use get, Irish spring. I, I want to get. What is it? It's the fucking soap that I use for my tattoo. I want to get the bar of that. It's like the dial or whatever. Mm. Like the gold dial, gold bar or whatever. What Bro, about you your feet? Doing this all wrong, man. What about your feet? I wash my, wrong. feet? I wash my feet. Or do you just but let you those soak right down I'll, the bottom? Do you do you wash the tops and then the bottoms? Do you use I a rag? Scrub, do you use a brush? Damn, he get, I feel like Grizz just gets so... He, he has like a whole orchestra It's like he shower. doesn't give a fuck about the topic, okay? We ask a question, he's just like evading everything. Like, <laughs> give me the fucking details, bro. I said my hands. Use your hands to wash your feet. <laughs> Dude. Rag, whatever. Zed Sounds I clean mean? to me. No, you're doing great, bro. Keep at it. <laughs> yes, yeah, fucking... Let me just use my hands to clean my feet. Do you soap with your hands? Jesus fuck. Do you, do you put like a bro. drop of soap on your finger and then like put it between your toes? Is that how you clean? Do you clean the inside of your toes? You know there's shit yes. in there, right? Some fungus up in there, bro. Yes. Okay. Just making sure, man. I'm, trying, I'm looking after you, bro. Fucking, I have the whole body wash, you know, go everywhere except for my head, but. Let me see the back of your ears. Let me see the back of your ears and you make sure <laughs> you're greasy. clean behind your ears, bro. <laughs> it looks greasy, bro. This fucking guy. You need a you need a rag, bro. You need a fucking I little do. nice little rag to wash your body. You know, exfoliate right, the skin. Explain when, when yours. Do you wash your face. What, Explain what's yours. That, what's that thing that helps exfoliate? A loofah. A loofah. I like that. That's a good word. Loofah. Right, good. I, I need to get yours. one of those. Go no, ahead. no, no, Mac. You're next. I want to. I want to judge. But I asked the question. <laughs> no, 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 I don't give a shit. You're next. He's gonna judge us regardless. Gonna judge no, he's gonna come out with. He's Knuckles. gonna come out with some stupid Knuckles. ass shit. Like Knuckles. fuck, washing your feet. <laughs> Mine's worse bro. than yours. So. Like, bro, <laughs> I, just, bro. I just, I just let the tub fill right. up a little bit and just wiggle my feet around in the fucking dirty tub. ass water. Tub. Fucking rich people. Dude. A fucking pool <laughs> outside. Mine's pretty bad. Inflatable from Walmart. Kitty pool. <laughs> all right, go, Mac. I want to hear. Man, all right. You guys really want to know? This is pretty bad. Oh, I, I I'm, I'm about to get details. canceled. People about to judge me so hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I already right. feel like I've been judged by fucking Grizz. <laughs> you have been judged hard. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I start from the top down. You know, I get the shampoo. Smart Guess what? Man. Guess one. Five, five and one. <laughs> Oh, get the fuck out of here, bro. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? The, the definition of a man. The definition. The def- oh, my God. The definition I didn't even know you still soap made soap. that. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Dude, That's five and one. crazy. Dude, you don't look this beautiful if you don't use five and one. You know what? And you use it everywhere, huh? Like by, in the hair, in nah, the fucking, dude. On the on the squash, uh, dude. Yeah, face. That's what it is. Okay, ready? Right? That's what I'm saying. Squash. Five and one, dude. Holy shit, Start bro. at the top. Pump them another one. Get the beard. Pump another one. Get the face. <laughs> pump another one behind the ears like this. Tickle. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> 
Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Conditioner? I feel like he's easy. Non existent. No. Easy. You want me to no, go pull out? I'll go no. grab the five in one right now and bro, show you. Oh, no. What's the up? Fuck you don't. You don't wash your entire body with five in one. <laughs> <Holy> <laughs> no, shit, no, no, no. Just the top half. Just right here. It's right here. Here it Okay. Um, I That's mean, it. but. All right. And then fuck. next, bar of soap. Right. Dove. Right there. Okay, you, you saved yourself with the dove. <laughs> if you had said Irish Spring well. or some shit, bro, I swear I would have reached through the screen. I should have. That's funny because that's what my dad uses. Fuck, that shit's spring. awful, bro. That shit's awful. No, because I feel like any other bar soap makes my hands and body feel dry. But dove, it leaves the more bar shit soap, than it takes off. The, the yeah. dove bar soap makes me feel nice and soft. So yeah, I use that good, all the way down. Do you guys clean your belly button? Because I do. You know? You better clean your Digging. belly button. That shit's fucking. Bro, I'm digging right there. With your finger? Yep, I did. You ever, you ever smelled your finger after you did that? No, yes, but it doesn't smell like anything. Smell, I do it, it every day. Smells, <laughs> it smells yes. like if you smell someone who takes their gauge out. After don't long, ever long do long that. Disgusting. It's fucking awful, bro. Like it, I don't know what the smell. hell's wrong with the belly button. It smells like something died in there. Do you have like, an innie or an Audi? Oh, definitely any, bro. Doesn't everyone you have an have Audi? Any? Like Audis are for like mutants and like <laughs> like I, know, I used to have an Audi when I was people. a kid. Yeah, when you were but born you had an Audi. It's called a fucking umbilical cord. Idiot. I'm saying when I was like <laughs> ten, you fuckhead. <laughs> ten years old. God Holy damn. shit, bro. You like push it in. You push it in. in <laughs> so I don't want to be weird. I just grew up and my, <laughs> I grew up and it became an innie. <laughs> fucking no. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's so fucking hot here. <laughs> bro, so after that, dude, I just do bar soap for everything else. Nuts, ass, feet. That's it. Why I'm out. Touch somebody Done. else's bar of soap. Huh? That's just I just feel mine. like it must be like uh, I'm. I am I different here? Am I weird? Like am I the only? Oh, one you're about to get anal? super. We don't efficient. know this shit, bro. Well, I mean, we if you're know. so efficient about wiping, continue, I'm pretty continue. sure you're super efficient. That's it, dude. I get out the shower. We'll get rinse everything off. I'm yeah, done. How do you clean your feet? I just, with the bar soap. Oh, they said yeah, that. They're going to say five in one, bro. This motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker is the guy with the fucking foot mat. Wait, how I literally just have five in one and a bar of soap. Oh, my fingies. I go like this. In between toes, like this. Oh, you're, you get, you're like, you're like, so yeah, let me, and, and then you like finger yeah, your toes with like the this. soap. And then, and then, and then, you know, when you, for the butt crack, you did the karate chop. You know what I'm saying? In between the crack. With, with a soap hand. You don't even. Wait. Okay. So you, so you, you lathered on your hand. And then you credit card yourself? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, karate chop a couple times. Be in between the crack. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. You, you guys are some filthy motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 I'm going to need another Bro. goddamn drink. I probably have more tools in my shower than you guys have in your toolboxes. Dude, literally, yeah. it's, it's only shampoo and a bar soap. That's all I need. <laughs> Five what, one bar with, soap. What, what about your shower doors? What do you do with your shower doors when you're done showering? My shower, I have a shower doors. Curtain. Yeah, I have a curtain. You have a curtain. You have a fucking curtain. God damn, you guys are poor. Okay, we live no. in a, I live in an older house, bitch. Oh, in you have like house. the you have like the box shower, I got right? My glass doors. And yeah, shit. the glass door. Yeah, no. Yeah, he has the stand up only. shower curtain. <laughs> and you never touch the shower curtain because then you got to rebathe your whole body. The again. shower, dude, shower curtains are, are literally like fucking cancer, bro. Like, just burn that shit. You're better off just getting the whole fucking bathroom wet and cleaning it. Like, that shit. I don't know how you guys do that, dude. I have a squeegee in my bath, in my shower. Whenever I'm done showering, I just. <laughs> I thought he was going to say it was for his ass. It wouldn't work. It's not... <laughs> this isn't smooth, bro. This is rough. You need something much, much more aggressive. You guys seen this shit, bro? Like, Jesus, it's hard to wash this. I have to condition my whole body. I, I okay? shave, but I have nothing. hair. I it looks like I have nothing, but I shave. Uh, no, yeah, I don't that, see shit on there. You think you almost guys, thirty-one years of nothingness. <laughs> like, if I if I leave it for like a, like a couple weeks, then it gets a little Native dark, American. But... Like, I'll get like one hair right here, maybe like right here, here. I have like seven around each nipple. I, I count them gray hair yet. Have you ever had a gray hair? Yes. Oh yeah. Do you see this shit coming in? You know what? I could see Holy Michael shit. Being completely gray by the time he's 40. I'm still going to have Like hair, you're going to have like the highlights, like the gray highlights. Yeah, you're like dude. that sexy oh, yeah. I'm like, running old out. man with the like the white oh, on the yeah, sides like, and like the, if the dark you, on if top. If you had a better or like if you saw me in person, you would see 
like this is getting gray and I'm there's out. like strands but yeah, i can, can kind of see it yeah. but my hair is not thinning that's good that's good so that's i don't like the only like thing, i'll I mean... go gray or i'll go silver fox or whatever and have like the salt and pepper i don't give a shit if i start to, to go if i start to like thin and go straight bald like patches or whatever the fuck i'm just gonna shave my whole head bald dude i don't think i would even like look that oh, bad yeah, bald same. Uh, once my hair goes, it's gone. I'm just yeah. Shh. Once it goes, it's gone. that's what I'm like. I'm like, I'll keep it long while I can. And if if I go bald, then fuck it. Yeah. Like if you've seen a picture of my of my bitch. of my brothers, my dad's bald, my oldest brother's bald, and my other older brother's bald. So I'm next. Just grow the beard, and it works. You know, yeah. you can be bald the beard. You still look like a fucking biker. <laughs> yeah. It's not a big thing. Well, for me, we just look like essays. Oh, that's true. You guys are <laughs> straight vatos. Like button up all the way to the top and shit. Like one button vatos up here. Vatos locos for life, Essie. <laughs> hey, are you a rocker fool? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's, let's hear the let's hear Grizz's answer. Let me see. What you got? All right, sir. Okay. Fuck, it's hot in here. I might have to take a shower after this. You want, you want me to just show you? <laughs> just yeah, yeah. a camera in there, just dude. You just only fans. <laughs> you just Vlog, guys, it. how to properly take a shower. Million views, bro. Easy. All right, I'm be uh, pretty specific here. Okay, so basically, when you start, you gotta turn the water. Okay, but you turn it on to where it's like in between hot and cold. You know, a little lukewarm. Because mm-hmm. if you if you didn't know, hot water is bad for your skin and your hair. So if you take like scolding hot showers, you're gonna go fucking bald. I like, hate taking you know, hot hot showers. Yeah, hot it. hot, no good for you, bro. Plus, you're sweating while you're showering, so you're not actually really getting clean. Like constantly sweating as you're showering, so gotta keep it like lukewarm. That's a good way to do it. Now, when I wash, okay, there's steps, okay, and I have multiple shampoos, conditioners, cleansers, facial. You got some, you know, nice pore enhancers. I got, I got a lot of acne, okay. I'm an oily motherfucker, so if I don't take care of this shit, I look like a fucking like face of the moon, bro. I got craters everywhere, so I gotta be on that shit. Okay, so when I start, I'll shampoo my hair with a very nice, expensive shampoo. You can't use that crap that they get to sell at Walmart, dude. That shit will fucking literally give you bald spots. If you're using Tresemme, you're fucked up. If you're using 5-in-1, you're fucking up, okay? That shit gonna give you bald spots, bro. Gonna be dry as fuck. You gonna get all that, like, oily, flaky shit in your hair. No bueno. No bueno. If not good. And then uh, I use fucking, uh, well, at first I got to shampoo everything. So like I said, I'm super hairy. So I'm going to shampoo the whole body. You're getting the fucking mustache, you're getting the beard, you're getting the chest hair, you're getting the gooch. I even got hair on the butt. Got to shampoo that everywhere. So as you can tell, I go through a lot of shampoo. A lot. A lot of shampoo. All right. It's crazy. It's <laughs> expensive. All right. And then after the shampoo, bro, then you work I almost to... spit up. <laughs> Look over to the conditioner, all right? And the conditioner is important. You got to leave it in for at least five minutes. But you can't condition the roots of your hair. People don't know this, man. You can only condition from, like, the middle of your hair down. You got to get the ends. So, like, when you're conditioning, you only get the sides out here, you know? And you scrunch, you know? You don't actually, like, yank on your hair because you can pull your fucking hair out. You don't get the scalp because it makes your shit all oily, and that's how you get, like, fucking dandruff and all that buildup. And you're only supposed to shampoo, like, once or twice a week. You shampoo more than that, you're giving yourself an oily fucking scalp. You're fucking your shit up. I but, shampoo every day. Yeah, no, that's no good, <laughs> man. That's no good. Five in one every so day. Much, so many chemicals. And the five in one, bro, like, I, I know why. Okay, let, me, let me ask you something. Does your dad use five in one? We all use it. Yeah. And, and guess what? They all went bald. Yep. <laughs> My mom's not bald, Yo! though. Yeah, right. <laughs> Your mom does not use five in one. She uses it too. No! She uses it too. Lies! <laughs> I have never seen a woman who has used five in one. Are you Bro, kidding me? Dude, we literally don't have anything in the shower besides <laughs> soap. It's just a one <laughs> bottle. There's not nothing else. A bar of soap and a bottle of five in one. And everyone in the house shares it. What the fuck, dude? That is like that. that what's that fucking show where they have like the cheap skates? Do you guys should be oh, on that fucking show, dude? It's like holy <laughs> shit. It's like that one 
girl who says that she gets like cans of tuna for like 49 cents, like cat food cans of tuna. Yeah. And feeds them to her, her guests oh because it's God. cheaper than buying an cheap. actual tuna. Fuck, bro. That's some next Mac. level shit. I'm a, I'm a, that's some next level. I've never heard of that. That's actually, to me, that's mind blowing. I'm drinking a Red's Apple Ale. <laughs> I don't, I don't see how you drink so much, dude. That's yeah, I don't understand how you drink a like. How many beers do you drink a day? I mean, this is only my second or third. So, but well, how many beers do you drink a day? Uh, it depends. Regularly, just like like yeah, bare minimum, your average, bro. Yeah, you're average. And what are we talking? Like, I'm just saying, yeah. every day, every day. How well, how many drinks less, do you drink more in or a less day? than ten? More than ten? Less than ten a day? Uh I used to be on average a uh, twelve pack a night. What about now? Bad, bro. That's really bad. Uh, right now, I'm not drinking every day, Good. but if I do drink, and I start watching movies and shit, then it gets. But when I okay. do drink, it's so how, how many how many <laughs> packs do you run through a week? Uh, I I did the math on this a while ago when I. Was... I'm surprised you can count that high. <laughs> <laughs> when when I was living on my own because I was trying to figure out how many beers I was actually 20, drinking or whatever. 36, 48, 60. <laughs> there, <laughs> there, when I was at my like like really dark time, uh, when my ex and I broke up, I was literally getting a 12 pack a night. God damn, dude! So I bet you're was... really good at counting in multiples of 12. I am. 12s and 20s, yeah. That's crazy, bro. Let's see how far you can go. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you're fucking insane, was, man. Do you know how I fat doing, I would be if I drank like you? I'd be like another 300 pounds, dude. Like I was easy. drinking. It was it was close to, it was like 100, 100 beers a week. That's fucking insane. How do you even afford that, dude? It's like half a paycheck. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. That's expensive. His beer is expensive, bro. Well, I mean, because like, like a pack is like a three or four dollars more than than how much is in the pack. Like when when I was living at my old house, and I would just walk across the street to the liquor store that was there, they were charging for a twenty pack like nineteen dollars and fifty cents. So it was like oh, twenty dollars. Like though, a, a beer. It was like a dollar a beer. <laughs> Piss water. Yeah. Yeah, of course. But it was like a dollar. <laughs> it was a dollar of beers, and I was doing that. I would do that like four times a week. Damn, because bro. I, like my ex would have a couple, and so like so eighty bucks a week. Holy shit! No, it was fucking a hundred and twenty dollars a week. Fuck, bro. Just on beer, bro. Do you know how much money you'd have right now if you put that in like AMC? Oh yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's the same. It's the same thing that people. It's the same shit that people say. Oh, if you didn't buy all those cigarettes, like you could have this car. It it's is like, the well, why same don't you... thing. It's, it's like, like if you well, guys why don't you have? Why don't you have that car then, shit. you stupid bitch? Bro, I do. It's like <laughs> you didn't thing. invest. It's like you didn't invest that same amount of money that I was putting into getting those drinks. You weren't putting that money into this. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's the thing is like when you do like that's that's what I do. I don't buy alcohol. I don't do any of that shit. I don't go out to party. Like, my brother, he's a pretty prime example. Like, he spends all of his money on, like, a $600 car note and then drinking and partying. And it's like, how much is your savings? You know, he's like, well, I got, like... I don't... Uh, well, I, I figured that, I figured that out pretty quick, too, because, like, when I was yeah. 21, 22, I was going out every weekend spending, like, three to $400 every weekend. I was yeah. dead broke, but I was having fun. Dead broke. I mean, yeah, it's good to have but fun. But like, but once I time, once I kind of like, figured out, like, I kind of slowed down and everything. I have so much money more in my bank account now, and I'm like saving it's up insane, now. It's insane, dude. Yeah, it's like, kind of the same. If thing. you just if you backed off of everything, like the beer, cigarettes, dip, coffees, like people buy Starbucks every day, dude. Like, legitimately, it's it's a real thing because you don't mm. need that stuff. If you took off, if you st- took that money and just put it in a bank account in six months, dude, you'd be surprised. You'd have five thousand, ten thousand more, like dollars, like. And then with that, you can turn that into fifty thousand in like a year, and then you can turn that fifty into a hundred in like five years, and then that ten years you get to be a millionaire, like legitimately, easily. It's not hard to do; it just takes time. But fucking nobody does it, dude. It's insane. It blows my mind. Like I, mean, I, I, I like in six months, dude, I've been able to get to almost like fifty thousand dollars, and like I don't, I don't make a lot of money, bro. Like I didn't at least like before, 
And now that I have money, I can invest more and make more money. But it's like, it's yeah, insane. I, like I've been I kind of saw people, that like, too dude, because invest. like like uh, in that time when I was like doing all that, and then <clears throat> my my yearly checks were like sixty thousand. I'm like, where did all that money go? <laughs> you know what's crazy is like you literally just have to like suffer for a little bit. Yeah, like, the people are like, oh, you can't bro, just I don't do have shit, fun, bro. Yeah, it's like, but but you're spending like like I said, like say you're spending three hundred dollars every weekend, you yeah, know, for bad. like a couple years or whatever the fuck. Cool, cool. But then for the rest of your life, you're fucking broke because you're trying to save up for, the, for that retirement that you never saved up for. The people who started young at like eighteen and they saved up until like twenty five and invested that whole time, and by thirty they're millionaires. And now they have the rest of their life to live off that money, party, go do crazy shit, travel the world, because they did it the right way. They, they were responsible first and then went and partied and had yeah. fun and I wish I lived that off mentality. of that income. But no, that's the thing. Yeah, we don't. I didn't have that mentality either. You know, luckily, I started like around like 24, 25. But there are people in their 40s and 50s who still have that mentality of like, ah, I'm just, why do I need to save? Why do adulting like, have to be so hard? It, is. it like, hit me hard. Oh, bro, it does. It does. And it's like I, I read like an article, and it's like I think it was like like over eighty percent of people our age, like millennials, don't have a savings account or like over five thousand dollars to their name. And it's like that's bro. fucking insane, bro. Like we I, we as a generation control far less wealth than mm -hmm. our parents did, and they and the next generation like oh, the boomers. Yeah. So it's like by the time they were 21 or tw like 18 or 21, like that, they had over like 20 to 25 percent of the world's wealth or of the nation's wealth. We're like at like 10 to 15 percent or something. Like I, that. Super low. I, I saw a, it was just a post on Instagram or whatever, but it was like a thing that said uh, like it was like everything in the year 1985, like the average of stuff mm -hmm. like here's the songs that were on the radio or mm. here was the president here, whatever. Um, and like one of the things that stood out to me was it said the price of a brand new house was mm -hmm. $89,000. The average price of a brand new house was $89,000 and the average income yep. for a person was, or a person or a household. I, would, I think it was a per person was $23,000. Yeah. It, was it's the actually, average. The what people don't realize too, and this is a this is a problem of the older generations. They they created this problem for us, and then they complain. They're like, "Oh, well, your generation is just lazy, or you guys don't make enough it's money, and this old. and that." I'm like, "No, bro. Like, do you know that our generation houses are uh, college education and houses are over fifty percent more expensive than they were mm -hmm. for their generation, uh, mm -hmm. according to income to expense. So our incomes have gone up like." maybe six to 10 percent or something like that it's like maybe it's like 16 percent but the price of college and uh, of houses has gone up over 65 percent yeah so it's like it, the numbers gallon, don't fucking a, add up a gallon of gas back in 1985 the average price was a dollar 24 or so let's say a dollar 25 mm -hmm. and now it's uh like 300 times or three times that like 300 yeah. percent more like the like, the average net worth of of somebody by forty, uh, for boomers was like, uh, a hundred and something thousand dollars. Like by the time they're forty, they had they had a hundred and something thousand dollars to their name, and the average for uh our generation is like below ninety, like eighty something thousand. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's, the averages are way down. Our wages are not as high as they should be, according to how everything else is inflated. Yep. The housing market is completely ridiculous. Yep. It's com and then this pandemic has made everything worse. And yep. and now people are are want they're confused. They're like, well, why is nobody wanting to work? Well, your benefits are shit. You treat your employees like fucking assholes. You and know, you want health, them to work healthcare in 50, America. 60, garbage or fifty sixty hours a week for yeah fifty sixty plus hours. Chunk change. And, and people forget that like work is not supposed to be your life. Work exactly. is supposed to like just afford you enough to maintain like your food and your shelter. But when you're spending literally like 70 plus percent of your life at work nowadays, it's not even worth it. Like it's, it's, it's really gotten ridiculous. People are like expected like, Oh no, you're sick. You're not, you know, can't be sick, bro. Uh, -uh. 
Like you're not allowed you to this, have You only got this many it, days before you can't take any more days off. Yeah, it's like, oh, if you're sick again, I'm going to fire you. Bitch, like I have a fucking choice. Like I just, you know what? Today, I feel like being sick. You know, it's, <laughs> that's not how the fuck our human body works. It's so stupid and people like employers have have forgotten that people are people. You know, you got to take care of people and and, and breed loyalty. And so like, people actually uh, enjoy. I, I could give there. a good example of what, especially what's happening to me. So <clears throat> I got, I don't know if you guys know, but I got a fucking lipoma on the back of my neck. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you guys knew is. that. You, it's you uh, like lipo, like you got some no, fat li- sucked out of there. No, I have, <laughs> I have a, I have a, a, what's it called? A fat deposit. It's like uh, something that grew. It's like a bump. Oh yeah, okay. It's like I don't know if you guys like can see cyst. it. But yeah, it's like, a, like cyst. a cyst. So I had yeah. to, get, I had to get a surgery for it. And it's the next month. And somehow, by the grace of God, my coworker got the same surgery date for his hand because he fucked up his thumb. And my oh, nice. boss is like, I can't have you guys both out. She's like, we, we, you need to reschedule or something. But like, I had to like tell her, I was like, okay. what? The doctor told me I had to take two weeks off. But I was like, if I could do desk work, I'll come in in like three days. Like that. I had wow, to like dude. fucking do that. But see, here's the problem Bro. I have with that. Fuck I, that. I wouldn't do when that. I got my knee surgery, I was like, I'm not coming back until my knee's 100%. No, because for one, they can't force you. And, and and two, they don't give a fuck about you, dude, to be honest. Employers don't give a shit. And this happened to a buddy of mine recently. He was working at Tilly's. And apparently Tilly's is a pretty shit employer. Uh, but he was uh, supposedly um, looking to upgrade, get a better job. And he put in his two-week notice. And after he put in his two-week notice, the manager started being a fucking asshole. And by the way, this guy, is a, he was an assistant manager. So the manager started being an asshole and like started like giving him super long, late hours, kind of just like giving him shitty-ass schedules, changing up his in. schedule all the time. Huh? I wouldn't well, even he, came in. He, that's what I'm saying. I personally would have been like, fuck you, I'm out. And I wouldn't have even given a two-week notice. Well, like, I would have I, I I a... gave the two-week notice. Like, I would have done the two-week notice, but if I would have noticed I was tr- getting treated worse, I'm like, I'm just going to leave. No, because he, he can't wait to do. And the reason is that he, he's always ha- he's had problems with these with these employers, apparently. He's saying that they're, they're shit. They treat people bad. And it's like, bro, if you're in a toxic environment, if your employer is a piece of shit, you don't need to give him a two-week notice, dude. Just fucking leave. Because it, and this is what I'm getting to, exactly what happened. He's like, you know what? I'm going to try and leave on good terms, though, so that I can use him as a reference or some bullshit, you know? So he goes, puts in his two week. He takes the bullshit for the next two weeks, getting basically, like, abused and harassed by this guy for two weeks. This is, this is what employers do. It's, it's not a, a, a single case. And then he goes to, a, a, his, you know, do the application process for his next job, and when they reach out to that last employer for a reference, they totally tried to fucking shitball him and say that he wasn't even an assistant manager. He was like an associate and this and this and that. And make, they try to make him look bad. And I'm like, wow. dude, this guy went out on a limb, took the abuse, put in the two-week notice, and they still shit on him. And that's the thing is these employers don't give a fuck about you. And if they've proven that they don't give a fuck about you, don't go out of your way to bend over backwards for him. Fuck them. Like, if you are getting shit on, if it's a bad employer, just fucking leave. Quit. Like, it, there's no fucking shame in that, dude. Like, just pretend they didn't exist. You know, go on to somewhere else, get a different job. You know, if you need to go get a skill, go back to fucking school. Do something. There's lots of trades out there you can do. And especially California, dude. Lots of grants where they basically pay for the shit. It's fucking easy. But people yeah. are way too obsessed with what employers think, what people say, and they feel like they are they like they owe these people something, and you don't. Like these people are, they don't give a shit, dude. These employers do not give a shit about you. They would rather fire you for for using more sick days, and just replace you with somebody else, than be like, you know what, you're a good dude, you have good work work ethic. You've been getting sick a lot lately, fine, you know, well, obviously you have no more paid sick days, but yeah, go ahead, you know, call in sick, do what you got to do, but get your work done, you know, here's your load. As long as you get your work done by the time, it, you, you know, your deadline or whatever, you're fine. You know, it, it depends on the job, obviously, but like if, if they're just going to replace you at the drop of a hat, why put in all that effort and all that work? There's no motivation to do it. Yeah. You know, you're, you're a part of an assembly line. You're replaceable. You're expendable. You yeah. shouldn't be working your ass off. You shouldn't be killing yourself. You shouldn't be stressing out. 
I have a you go to work. That's, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't be. Well, it's because like, if they're treating you like that, shit. If they're not really them. treating my shit, but like since I got the new position, I've been doing three jobs right now. Well, right now it's because okay, so this is what happened. So my manager is leaving. She's mm-hmm. like going back to Kansas or whatever. So I took the spot. <laughs> and like since she's leaving, I'm doing her job and her husband that works there, his job. So I'm doing my job, her job, and his job. I'm running around like the warehouse. All Are you getting paid for it? Day. I only no right now. I have I have to have a three three month probation. Trial no, period. No, no, no. See that's that's the shit I don't. I don't f- no. Fuck no. And people don't fight for this shit, dude. Like especially like right now, people are hurting. Okay, you have the advantage. Like you, you just fucking tell them, hey, I'm doing three times my work right now. You can pay me, you know, double my wage or whatever the fuck, you know, at least like half of what they're getting, or at least upgrade them to whatever they were getting paid. You know, if they're a higher uh, rank than you or whatever the fuck it well, is. Well, she was here 30 years, so I wouldn't get what If you're doing paid. both their jobs, it doesn't fucking matter. They can upgrade your pay two, three, four dollars, even well, if it's they, temporary. They did a dollar, but the rest is, te- is to uh, wait, to th- nah, wait the 90 days. That's, see, that's that's bullshit, bro. Mm. To do like so two extra. And that's the thing is like that. That does that shouldn't be your fucking job. Your job isn't to pick up other people's slack. And this is what why it fucking pisses me off to have these shitty employers. Because that's a shitty employer. That's what it is, dude. This person doesn't know how to fucking staff. They can't keep their fucking their staff up properly. They're not uh, uh, planning accordingly. And then they're like, oh well, you know what? We're super shorthanded, so I'm gonna dump all this shit on this one guy. And then not pay him appropriately. That's exactly how you kill morale. It's exactly how you lose more people. And that's exactly why they're understaffed. Because they're not fucking planning properly. And they're not paying people appropriately. And then people wonder why they don't stay. It's like Ulta and Amazon, bro. They have like the worst fucking retention rates. Because yeah. they do the same shit. They're fucking awful. It's shit work. So they want you to pick up other people's slack. Amazon. Yeah, and Amazon it's, it's not worth not it. Fun. No, it's awful, bro. I worked at Ulta at a warehouse. It was fucking awful. Like, it was, like, it was not bad pay. It was, like, at the time, it was good pay. It was 15 bucks an hour, which at that time, nobody was paying $15 an hour. That's it how was, I feel here. It was pretty rare. Yeah. Uh, but then now, it's, like, everyone gets 15 so fuck. It's a horrible job now. It's, like, what the fuck? Like, hell no. But it's it was still a bad job because they would just want to work you, like, all the time. And then it, it was weird, too, because you'd have, like, days where you'd show up to work, right? You're scheduled to work. And they're like, oh, you know what? We have nothing to do. Just go home. And so you're like literally missing money that should have been there. You know, like if, if you're told I'm going to be working Monday through Friday full time, this is my paycheck. You plan for that money. You know, your bills are adjusted accordingly. When you show up to work and like half the time they're like, oh, sorry, we just have nothing to do. Just go home. It's like, no, like you if if you send me home, you still got to pay me or I just sit here and do nothing. Because I need the money. You know, you can't just be like, go home. We have nothing to do. That's yeah. another problem. As well as, like, not just planning accordingly. People are just so... And then they let people get away with it, dude. And it's like, that's... I understand that some people need the job, but that's why it's so important to save and invest. So you don't have to rely on these motherfuckers. And, like, when they abuse you, you have to fucking sit there and take it. Because you have no other option. And that's, like, the yeah. worst feeling, bro. That's, like, I, I, I've felt that before. And I, I'm like, never again. I'm never going to work for an asshole motherfucker. I'm never going to have to rely on these motherfuckers. If I want to go work a job, part, part-time, part seasonal, make a little extra cash, cool. But if they want to be a fucking asshole about it, I'm like, dude, fuck you. I don't need this job. You know, it's it, they can't just get, get away with taking advantage of people. I wish I could they be are. like that right now. <laughs> this is the only thing that I got. That and streaming that's horrible, at the dude. moment. It's fucking, you know? that sucks. That's why that's why we're trying to build this empire, bro. I'm trying to leave and just do this. You know, this is this is the passion. This is the love. This is what I want to do. This is the only thing bro. that I know. You know what I mean? I, I just know yeah, this man. for a fact because like, dude, I tried everything else. I've gone to school. I've I've done like trade schools. I've yeah. done all this stuff. I'm just not comfortable you, there, dude. I want to be here. It doesn't with you guys. It, our, you know I mean? our 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 mentality is different. We're creative types. We are. We want well for me at least. I'm like the fucking. I want to do my own thing, and the way my mind works is if I'm not into something, if I don't enjoy something, I can't give it my all. I cannot physically be motivated for it. 
So it's like, if I'm not motivated, if I'm not interested in it, I don't fucking want to do it. And when some exactly. motherfuckers behind me, like, nagging in my ear, hey, do this, hey, do that, oh, you're doing this wrong, like, bro, get the fuck away from me and let me do my shit. Like, micromanage, I can't do it. I can't work for somebody, dude. I just fucking cannot. And, it, and I don't know if it stems from being in the military or what, dude, but it's like, it, employers are fucking shit. There's very few good ones that actually care about you and, like, want you to do well and want you to, you know, to, you know, get up in there in life. You know, as an employer, when I hire people, because I've hired people in the past, when I hire people, I'm not asking them, like, you know, what, what, what did you do at your last place? You know, like, you know, did you get fired for this and that? Like, I'm, I'm asking these people, like, where do you want to be in five years? You know? And a lot of people are like, oh, I want to be working for you. And I'm like, okay, now, get the fuck out of here, dude. Either you're full of shit or you have zero ambition. And I don't want either of those. So it's like, I want, I want a motherfucker who's going to be like, well, you know, I'll maybe like in five years, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll save a bunch of money, start my own business, you know, or maybe I want to, you know, get a degree and be a software engineer. I want somebody who's like motivated, somebody who's going to, you know, do something. Cause then you can kind of like help build them. You can create a network and then maybe you can even just incorporate what they do into what you do. If you build a business, you want a bunch of talented people. You want people who are going to be a mastermind, people who are going to help each other out and build each other up. Like, like with you guys, too, like even like our YouTube shit, you know, like when we do videos, I want to help you guys have the best settings. You know, I want to help you guys get, like, get audio down on pat. You know, like when I was like working with like Nux and Yex and I'm like, hey, bro, like, like get a mic, you know, get the whole setup done. If you want to start a YouTube channel, I'll show you how to do it. Like, I want to help people get there so that we can all fucking, like, glow up together. You know, build a network. Because you need that. To be successful, you need to have people who have your back, who are going to give you differing opinions, who are going to put you in check whenever you're fucked up. You know, because if you're putting out a bunch of shit content, you need somebody to tell you, hey, bro, like, you your editing is ass. So, yeah, yeah that, you need to work like, together. That's another thing, too, is that, like, we, like ever since, like, more Grizz that ever since Grizz came into like the connection, like we've all been kind of floaters, but Grizz kind of brought us all together in a way. Like, cause like at one point we we're just kind of doing our mm -hmm. own thing. And then <laughs> no, <laughs> like, 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 like for real, like Grizz really just like, kind of like make, got that missing piece that we were like, that we needed to like, kind of start making content like good. Cause I, good, I feel good like you guys like, understand. Yeah. You know, it's he like was, when I see somebody, the ass. I see, I see potential. I, when I look at a person, I don't see like somebody who can, who can fucking lick envelopes or mail my shit out. You know, I'm looking for somebody who's like, has potential. Like, is this dude motivated? If he says he's going to do something, is he going to do it? If he says he's going to start a channel, is he going to start the channel? You know, if he starts the channel, is he going to keep posting? You know, it's like. All those things, it's like, I get it. Life is tough. Life is difficult. I mean, I've been posting since 2016 on YouTube, and I haven't been doing it consistently, but I'm still here. I'm still doing it, and I'm still trying my best, and I'm not going to quit. Like, that's and, my main thing, dude, is like, I want to find people who, no matter what, they're not going to fucking quit, because it might take 10 years, it might take 20 years. Eventually, that motherfucker is going to make it. He's going to be successful. You're going to fail a million times before you get that one fucking video, that one fucking thing in your life that either makes you a millionaire, may get you a million views, whatever the fuck it is. And you want to be, you want to be a part of that journey. You want to, you want to fucking grow from the bottom. Cause you know, if I, I know, okay, with you guys, like say if I was to hit a video tomorrow and it gets like a billion views and all of a sudden I get like a million subscribers in like a week. Like I know you two are legit. <laughs> No, it's like, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking losers. No. It's like, it's like, <laughs> my circle is small right now. So like you guys have been there from the beginning. So it's like, I know you guys are legit. Like I can only imagine the people like who try and come later on. Oh yeah, yeah. bro. Let's, let's collab. Hey, want to be friends? Hey, yeah. Can we play games together? You don't know who the fuck is real, bro. You don't know who's there to actually like be a friend and benefit with you. Or who's there to benefit from you and be a parasite and talk shit behind your back, you know? So that's the only thing that, like, for me, is, like, I want to I wanna have that team, and I want us to get there together. 
Cause that shit, bro. Like this, this can be a lonely life, bro. Yeah, like YouTube. That, that, there's like, there's like one thing that, because <clears throat> I know, I know what you mean by that. Like, you know, who's gonna come later? And dude, I love. I'm gonna say this with all love, dude. All love and respect, but like, <laughs> I love him to death. He's he's been like one of the people that kind of pushed me to start streaming and everything. But he said something to me, and it came off a little sour. You know what I'm saying? He. Oh shit. He he was like, I was like, bro, come back to streaming. He's like, why? He's like, why should I do it? You're doing all the work, and I'll come in when you're famous. And I'm like, mm. right. but okay, so we're about to hit our hour mark, but I'm going to ask one more question, and it's mm -hmm. going to be kind of funny, all right? So okay. <laughs> out of the three of us, who would win a fight? Ooh. Let me be honest. Yeah. It's definitely me. Definitely <laughs> me. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah. But dude, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a three-way squabble, like Ooh, not yeah, one-on-one. Okay. One. It's a three-way okay. squabble. Yeah. 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 Not a one-on-one. Okay. Three way squabble. Yeah, Who'd win? Mud Who's gonna come out on top? Is there mud? Yeah. Whatever. Like, mm. are we talking mm. like our physiques right now? Yeah, right now. Uh, I'd give my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, physique doesn't matter as much as technique, right? Technique. I, I technique. Don't have power right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, uh, so honestly, you're out. I, I, I think I, I could still I, take Mac. I yeah. mean, I could. I'll be fighting, but like. My punch won't do damage. I don't know, dude. Right now, I, not at least the I reason. Mean, the reason I asked this right question now. is because, like, I just went to a festival recently and I just caught in a fight in the pit. My, That's like mosh pit. Yeah, mosh pit. Oh shit, bro! Where'd you go? Uh, I, well, I went to Foam, Foam Wonderland. It it was just oh, something here in bitch. Vegas. That yeah, we fucking got, funny shit, dude. Got fight go. in the pit. Invite me next time, man. Dude, yeah, dude, whenever there's more, like, dude, there's an excision rave coming, right? the excision's coming up. I don't know if they still hey, have tickets. Dude, let's go to EDC next year or whenever it comes up again. It's on October. Tickets just went on sale. Bro, you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Nux, you want to go? I'll have fun. Come to what? Excision. Why not? Excision is like next dude, have month. have you ever been? It's too, fucking amazing. Too many people. I don't, I don't like the, the I get really... Oh, you have anxiety, huh? I get you really like anxious thing. for one. Don't worry, dude. I'll give you some like, uh, really... candy. No, <laughs> I, but I also get, I also get like really, like, short tempered, on edge, like. Bro, I'm down to fight. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Get in the pit. Yeah, I'll throw you in there. Be good, brother. Three All of three us. All three of us. <laughs> I don't want. Set it in fight. there. I this fucking fight. guy, bro. A couple Red Bull and vodkas, you'll want to fight. Yeah, because I don't know if you guys saw my Snapchat. <laughs> I, don't do that. I don't know if I you guys saw my Snapchat. No, dude, honestly, hard. At, at raves, like EDC, there's like hardly any fights. No, bro. it's, it's super, super chill. Everything, super I think chill. I think it's just because it was like the first one of like in Vegas. Bro, people were Wait, all Everybody's up. like the first time outside in dude. like fucking years. Like, I don't know if you saw my Snapchat, but I had like, a, like almost a black eye and had a cut right here because the guy hit me like this, like with his fucking nail out. What the fuck? It was because look, dude, we were all having fun in the pit, right? We we're all having fun, and then I turn around to a fish right to the face. Oof! So I'm just like, oh shit! You know what I'm saying, and I'm like, we start hey, going off, throw back, bro. Teen yeah, off. just throw back. It was kind of cool. It. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, honestly, dude, I, it is. I, it's weird. It sounds weird, is, but I, I, I like to fight fights. too. Me too. I like. To fight. I like to fight. So I don't know, I man. Maybe it. between I, me and you, maybe it might be a little. We might be going off for a minute. I, I dude, we can have fun, dude. <laughs> we can have like, some fun. I hate it. I used to box. Like, I hate it. I don't. So you think, I don't box. I think. But you think dumb, you think you know? for sure you're gonna win. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Okay, the, the thing about me is I don't fight for fun. Like, if, well, I know it's never fun, but I'm saying like, yeah, dude. No, like, I mean like if I fight, this is just I'm, a scenario I'm, that we're going like, in. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's say if we're I had to all fight enemies anyone, right now. Yeah. If we're all enemies, dude, it's to the death. Like well, dude, I'm, I'm going fucking, I'm, I'm down. I'm biting I'm your in. ear off. I'm gouging your fucking eyeballs, bro. Mm. I'm fucking choking you out until your fucking esophagus snaps. Like, <laughs> I know you I, in the it army. It sounds though. crazy, know, yeah. But it sounds crazy. But it's like that's that's the way I fight. And if like when I fight somebody, it's and the only time I would fight somebody in like real life is like my life is in danger. You know, like they're attacking me. I'm defending myself. I'm breaking your fucking arms and Usually your legs. Same. You know, so it's like. It, it's it's one of those things. It's like you have to be. It's like if I, if I was in just like straight up like boxing match, yeah, you, anybody would probably just outpoint me because that's not what I do. And if I'm like gonna fight nah, you, we're, we're it, talking about maybe street one fight, yeah, right? one or two right. punches. <laughs> it's gonna be one or two punches, and most of it's gonna be fucking like uh, jujitsu. And I'm I'm gonna fucking wrap you up, dude. Cause I'm heavy, bro. 
and yeah. I'm, I'm like low to the ground so i have that nice like fucking center of gravity i've never lost a wrestling match dude I, I i'm i'm a wrestler too dude and i've been lost well yeah. I, I did lose state but that's fine those are some and crazy it, it's, <laughs> it's crazy like i've i've wrestled motherfuckers who were like you know 230 40 pounds and like six two six three but and back the, then the i was only 130 pounds advantage yeah so it's like i'm quick too dude like for a, especially for a big guy like I f- I'm fucking quick. Even sprinting, dude, I'm fast as fuck. Like, people are always fast. blown away. <laughs> I'm fast as fuck, dude. It's crazy. People are blown away, dude. I'm like, dude, like, these these legs, bro, hold on. Look how fucking thick these legs are, bro. Like, got them Phil Mickelson muscles. calves. Yeah. I guess, I guess like, we'll only know on the apocalypse day. <laughs> hey, man, the only people who are faster than me in, in high school on the football team were black. Okay, that's, that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's like it's, and I have a, a lot. Of, I have a lot of training in training. A lot. Like, I don't know. I think. I think uh, honestly, uh, all jokes aside, I think Grizz would probably like. We'll we'll probably go at it pretty hard, but at the end, I think Grizz would beat me for just his strength. He's probably a lot stronger than I am. That meant that warrior mentality, bro. Man. But I mean, oh, like, I, I would, I would, <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, I would fight my heart out. But I, I think, think at you the end definitely of the day, put up a fight because I, I think you have that that uh that that weight balance. So yeah. I, I, even as tall as you are, you're not super lanky, which I think will like definitely work to your advantage. I am you lanky. Look like a wrestler. Nah, you're not really. I mean, you've I lost weight. Six foot you the monkey man. arms. Like when he you were heavier, when you were heavier, you definitely would have been more of a challenge for sure. I think because that that weight does play a lot of it, especially because like your wrestling background. You do have an advantage on me on your arms. Like if we got into a straight up like swinging match, yeah. that you're definitely gonna fucking have. Yeah, you going straight for the tackle, huh? <laughs> yeah, but I'm going straight for the tackle. Yeah, I'm not sitting there playing I'll, fucking I'll game for the tackle. Hey, I'm guess what? I got a good tackle. sprawl. I got a good sprawl, bitch. What's up? Hey, you better. That's what I'm saying. Big guys <laughs> never have good sprawls, bro. They never do. It's very rare to see somebody over six foot who knows has a good ground game. I'm breaking your cheek with my hip. Used to fucking <clears throat> yeah. It's it's pretty great, but yeah, like if you know how to react, you know, because I'm. If you know how to fucking wrap up, you know how to fucking defend yourself, get that half guard, whatever the fuck, like yeah. you'll 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 do well. But that's Here's the thing the... in a real fight, dude. People are wrapping up. They're not. Yeah, it's not it's really. Not no fucking street fight. Like if somebody's like trying to kill you, bro, they're it's just wild. Like, for one, they're gonna try and choke you out because once you're unconscious, you're dead. Yeah. That's, that's Here, it. here's here's a follow up question. Then when was the last time anyone's gone in a fight? I mean, last weekend. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, well, you got weekend. you were. <laughs> You were in a mosh pit, got fucking punched. Ooh, that's probably saying, like, no, but we yeah, no, we fought. Fight, we fought. Like you yeah, fought, yeah. like two years fought. ago. You beat his ass, dude. Look, so this is what happened, right? He punched me, right? <laughs> and I looked at him. I gave him a fucking death scare, and he got scared. He started backing up, and the first thing I did was kick his foot, and he stumbled back, and I just started swinging, bro. <laughs> Shit, and then, like, the crowd caught him because he was going to fall, and they pushed him back right to me. And I was like, come here, bitch. Go for more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they pushed him back, and then just you just do, do it to the beat. Yeah. Yeah. But the, Are you an elbow kind of guy? Do you, you like to throw elbows? No, I, haven't, I don't really throw elbows. Oh, okay, I'm, a, I'm an elbow I guy. cut yeah. someone. But, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to I think it lasts, like, a whole, it went, like, a whole 10 seconds, and then they finally, like, pulled us off. But I was beating his ass. Dude, yeah. If it would have went on a little longer, he would have freaking... <laughs> yeah, dude. Riz, what about you? When was the last time you actually been in like a fight? In an actual fight, fight probably, probably high school, dude. Everything after that's been like professional, basically. Like either like a a match, like martial arts. You know, like it's never been like I've never like fought somebody on the street, but like, hey, bro, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> like, other you know. than other than that last weekend, I think it's been years too. It's yeah. Been well, like maybe... I don't really party, so I guess that has a lot to do with it. So it's like I'm the last not time. in places where people are like crazy like that. The last yeah. time I was like, I got jumped. I lost that one. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I've, yeah, I lost oh, that one. They tried. They yeah. I, the last one with me was like back when I was like 18, 19. Bro, I got they jumped tried to jump grade. us at a house party, mm. and the home the homeowner tried to throw a uh, beer in my brother's face. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's, and, that's uh, grounds like, to get your ass or beat. He sure. tried to hit him, and it was. Oh, I'm sorry. I, he tried to hit my brother, and my brother threw a beer in his face. And then I think it's one of those things. He where tried. Like, yeah. What? Oh, he, like he then he then tried to charge me, so I, you know, I stanced up, and he went went at me, and I just double leg hooked him, and walked him 
all the way over to his side door where the concrete steps were and just fucking shouldered. Yep. Just threw his <laughs> ass into the stairs. And yeah. then I got started again, jumped and got a couple hits in that in my eye. And then that was it. And yeah. then everyone who they thought was going to be on their side ended up being on our side. So then all of those guys got jumped. Nice. <laughs> Fuck, bro. And then I went no, to I've, a, I've never then I went to a penthouse party at the Palms, an and like our one of our friends, he was an MMA fighter, like a pro MMA fighter. He walks up, looks at me, goes like, "Ah, you're good." <laughs> that was it. No cauliflower ears. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> he just looked at me. He's like, "Man, they didn't even touch you." I was like, "I know." I mean, that's like that's not even. I, that's one thing I also found that was funny. It's like, oh, like if you bleed or you got a black eye, like you lost a fight, and it's like, that's not how it works, bro. Yeah, it's like, not how it if, works. If, if you no, knock like, the other there, motherfucker there was, out, or he's people unconscious, people were saying, or, or like you broke his bones, like he people didn't People <laughs> were saying that he, like, after the whole thing and everything calmed down, because there were a couple who people who still stayed there. Yeah, that he he was like moving around really gingerly. Obviously, you got fucking slammed on the concrete yeah. steps. Yeah. Even if even if they break your fucking you know your nose or your jaw or whatever the fuck, if you if you knock them out, you render them unconscious. You have won. So at that point, if you wanted to, you could just fucking break their fucking spine. You know what are they mm-hmm. gonna do? Curb stomp them. It's it's ridiculous. I can go on for days about that shit, dude. But I, I it's one of those things. I don't think I don't think I get in fights because. I kind of like look forward to it, you know. Like it's like if an opportunity came up, I'd yeah, be like, oh, yeah, let's, go. Let's, let's fucking go. <laughs> and my, I don't know if people it's can a, it's sense that or resort. something, but they're just like, like I've never even had the opportunity. Yeah, I use that. Never really happens to me either, dude. I feel like I have like that. Uh, don't fuck with me You're face a big when I dude walk around. Too. Yeah, that too. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I have like that. Don't fuck with me face. I mean, like it's kind of scary. Yeah, so. it's, I mean, it's not that scary, but yeah. it scares people off. Like, yeah, I guess like it's like it depends. I guess depends on how I just don't even look at people. You're like I just don't talk to people. I just no. I, I just don't look at them. This what like when when I used to live in Northtown, mm-hmm. like in not a great spot of Northtown, like there's plenty of times where people for like kids and shit would just get jumped. And I mean, That's crazy. I'm just saying, not being racist or anything. It was a predominantly black neighborhood. Yeah, it's usually so usually goes the ghetto. You you walk walk down the street or whatever, and if you just make eye contact. Because they saw it on fucking TV or some shit. They're like, like sometimes it's like stupid. their initiation type shit too. They're they'll, like, oh, they'll you want to try be the to gang? jump you or whatever. You got to jump just, somebody. Or you literally stuff. like look past them. Like you don't even fucking acknowledge them. They just leave you alone. It's what I like, and especially when I was when I was working with a gas company and I was going into some real bad shit. Like especially with the glasses on, just oh, walk right past them. They that, don't dude. fuck with you. You're crazy for that until, breaking into and, people's houses and shit, or breaking into and, their backyards. Until, and, unless you're doing it to their house, then they're like, "Hey, what the fuck?" Yeah, but I'm surprised you never got shot at, bro. Like, I've had a gun pulled out. Yeah, bro, I see somebody. It in my wasn't backyard, aimed bro. at me. Or anything. <laughs> yeah. he, was, he thought he thought that I was somebody trying to break in. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. He, like, he had he had the gun out, and then he saw he saw the uniform and the badge, and he's like, he's like, "Oh, what the fuck are you doing here?" And I'm like. You didn't pay your gas bill, dude. He's like, oh, fuck. And then he, <laughs> I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Darn nabbit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's, there, let's end it the on dog that. dog scared me more than people. Let's end it on that. Okay, everybody. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of the Uncancelled Podcast my, with my boy Grizz and Nux. Hey. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I want you guys to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, tell us how we're doing. This is the fourth episode. We've been, you know, we haven't been consistent yet because, you know, there's a lot of things that we aren't getting down. But we starting to, we're, starting, will be. <laughs> we're, we're starting to understand each other more. We're starting to understand how to podcast better. I mean, this is our fourth episode. Give us some yeah. slack. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see post you guys. Oh, yeah, post yeah, notifications post too. Because YouTube you doesn't guys. give a fuck about subscribers. <laughs> and yeah, hit if that. you also enjoy it, tell everybody that you know. Yeah, tell everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't tell your boys. grandma. Don't, don't tell, tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> yeah. Go uh, on Twitter and, and uh, hashtag uh, cancel 
the uncancelled podcast. <laughs> try, trend that shit. Try and cancel the bitch. I dare you. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. Uncancelled bitch. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, bitches. Later, everybody. <laughs>